Hi everyone and welcome back to Drift Club Mexico. This is chapter 5, Volcano Run. If you missed any of the previous chapters, the links will be in the description as always. In this chapter we are driving Formula Drift Mustang and our target to 3 stars is a whole million points. Now, if a million sounds a bit scary, no need to worry. To get to it, we have the full road from all the way at the top of the volcano all the way down. And we also have 10 minutes to achieve that, so it's going to be long, but relatively relaxed drive. And as in all the previous chapters, the main thing to get there is your settings. So make sure you set your traction control to off, stability control to off, that your braking and steering are not set to assisted and get your shifting to manual. Once you've done that, put your car in the third gear and start driving. The moment you start steering, the car will drift automatically. As with all other Formula Drift cars, there's a lot of power in this Mustang, so you don't need to throttle it all the way. Between halfway and three quarters should be fine to keep drifting all the way down. Apart from that, it's just a long way down. As you can see, even in the beginning, we are at close to 200,000 points and we just barely started. Uh, my recommendation is get to your million and as long as you don't chase the leaderboard position, just start cutting downhill uh, to finish this chapter as quickly as possible. But overall, you have 10 minutes. Uh, so, if you feel like trying to set a record or show off in front of your friends, feel free to try to get to a maximum score. Now, as you can see on the screen, once you leave the road, you stop scoring the points. So, make sure you get your points before going off-road. If you feel like your car is getting out of the control, lift off the throttle or use your brakes to slow down. And as soon as you do it, the car will, st will stabilize itself and you can resume your drift. You don't need to go too fast, speed does help with uh, scoring points, but it makes controlling the car way more difficult. So stick about you know, 100 km per hour, 130, and that should be good enough to, good, uh, to get really good scores, but also maintain control at all times. We are about halfway there, just a bit under it in terms of points, and obviously my drifts are not something exemplary uh, they wouldn't count as a nicest drift ever but they get the work done and that's the most important things just a reminder the price for three starring the whole story is brand new mustang mark e and there's also a whole bunch of accolades related to this story I think each chapter gets you about 1500 accolade points, so it's well worth doing it. And with that, I guess I'm running out of things to talk about, because uh, really, this is just a downhill drift, which any of the drift fans in Forza Horizon 5 probably did more than a couple of times and there's even blueprints that repeat the same pretty much the same route and may not be restricted to a single car so however if you never seen what a million points uh, looks like this is a good chance to get that result and have it saved on the leaderboard we are what five kilometers away uh, that's that's about halfway i guess and 770,000 points as you can see getting to a million is not going to be a problem at this point i'll probably shut up and leave you to the sound of this mustang and it's constantly revving engine as i continue my long and tedious path downhill i hope you enjoyed the video and the advices in it have been useful for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one
over one million drift points. That much tyre smoke must be visible from the city. I mean, if anyone was watching, which they're not. OK, time to come clean. What are you planning? Just a little something we've been working. Well, you can wait a bit longer. You're no good at keeping secrets, Rob. You know that. <laughs> 